Okay, we've worked around most of our outside level. We just finished our second to last corner. I made one extra chain so we can do our last side, which is a section of four columns. Remember, it's four on the sides and three in the corners. It's two sets of three in the corners. Okay, last column, chain one, and go here to our last corner, column one, column two, column three, and then we're going to chain two to make our last corner, and here we go, column one, column two, and column three. Now that we're going to close it up, it's the same as it always has been. With this last loop, we're going to count up three. So one, two, three. Take our needle through there. Pull that yarn all the way through. Make sure it's tight. There we go. We're going to take our scissors and cut this off. And like I said, if you want to make it bigger, you go right ahead. This is just where I like my granny squares to be. And you could leave this like this and make a big blanket or something out of it, or you could use this just as a coaster on a table, which is what I've done in the past. You can make this bigger and thicker and use it as an oven mitt, but this is a very common pattern that's used in many larger pieces. This is a granny square.